Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Joelle C, back with another makeup look for you all. And today, we're gonna do something a little bit more subdued than I normally do. I actually felt kind of inspired by some like golden neutral shades. So we're gonna do like a nice little kind of soft, smoky glam kind of thing. Instagram glam, I don't know. But nonetheless, I was inspired, so hopefully you all love it as well. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I bring weekly videos with new eye looks every single week. So if you wanna come along with me on that journey, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then follow it with a little click on that bell for me, please. All right, and the first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and prime the eyelid. And for that, as always, I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise in the shade zero, and that's gonna be pure white. We're gonna put that all over the lid area. To apply this, I am using a dry Morphe sponge, uh, the Morphe X Jeffree Star sponge. And real quick, by the way, you all, I hope you all are remaining sane and safe, and that you know your loved ones are cared for and all of that. I know that everyone's kind of in a different circumstance. So nonetheless, right now, I just wanna send a lot of good, warm, positive vibes out for you all, whether you're into that type of thing or not. I just wanna go ahead and just kind of just send positivity your way. And if I could just get you all to forget about that for a couple minutes, then mission accomplished. And also obviously to teach you some slayage at the same time. So for today's look, we're gonna be using the Morphe 35M Boss Mood Palette. I've used it, I think, once before on my channel. I do love this palette. I feel like it's a pretty well-rounded palette. Uh, and we're gonna be dipping pretty much into this section today, which is, you know, more the neutrals and brown shades. And we're gonna just like really transition those out and really go for like this like burnt out eye socket kind of moment with some gold in there. Sounds like really sexy. All right, so with a Morphe M518 brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade Play It Cool, which is this stunning little, like, obviously brown neutral shade, uh, but it's on the lighter side here, so we're gonna dip into that first. And we're gonna go ahead and just not be shy, we're gonna put that wash of color all through the brow area, soft circular motions. And you all, I can't stress enough how important it is to keep the pressure light as you're putting this on. If you're using this base, keep in mind that this acts as a magnet towards your pigments. Like it'll literally, since we're not setting it first, we're literally gonna go ahead, it just attaches right onto that pigment. All right, so now that I put that wash of color, and you see I took that right under the brow, just did a whole wash right into that whole eye area, I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M514 now, and I'm gonna dip into the shade Talk Dirty, and I'm gonna now go 50% lower than I was before. So right now you see I have a band of color there. I'm gonna take that halfway down, and I'm gonna start transitioning that out. And that's how you start deepening the crease. And I start in here, and I slowly bring that out. All right, everybody, so as you can see now, I've gone ahead and started to really deepen out that eye socket there. Uh, so the next thing I'm gonna do is dip into the shade Sparks Fly, and to apply that, I'm using an e.l.f. crease brush and I'm just literally right into that crease. I'm gonna keep deepening this out. All right, and now with a Morphe M429, uh, which is like this dual level brush, it has longer fibers that are sparser, and then it has some uh, denser uh, bristles that are shorter. Uh, so now for that, what I'm gonna do is I dipped into the shade Black Magic. I'm gonna, in that crease, be very precise about how I blend out. This is pure black pigment, so we have to be very careful about it. It can get muddy real quick. All right, everybody, so now that I've laid that black pigment down into the eye area, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the Sephora Long Lasting Coal Pencil in Intense Black, and I'm gonna put that all into the waterline. All right, everybody, so I took that pencil, applied it to the waterline, smudged it out with a basic smudger brush. And what I mean by smudger brush is something like this. It has short, stubby bristles, but it also has the slightest amount of bend to those bristles. Uh, you want something like that to just help really push 
the waxiness around and it helps diffuse it a lot easier. Um, so as you can see, that's in there. That's not going anywhere because this is a budge proof water liner. All right, now I'm gonna go with my Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Base and I'm gonna apply that right into the core of the eyelid because we're gonna apply some gold glitter, baby. And now I'm taking the Lit Cosmetics Vegas Glitter and I'm gonna put that all into where I applied that glue. All right, so I got a little heavy handed with the glitter. Uh, so what I did was I, with the spoolie, uh, kind of just scratched away at the excess glitter that I had put on and I had kind of applied it as a glitter cut crease That's why I kind of cut out this shape uh, But I'm gonna go ahead and lay in the P. Louise and Mama Mitchell blank canvas And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of cut crease that out so that you can really appreciate that gold glitter liner that I've applied to apply that I'll also be using the acid rain by P. Louise flat brush and that will go ahead and cut this crease. All right, so as you can see, I took that P. Louise and Mama Mitchell blank canvas, laid that right into uh, that cut crease area that I had accidentally gone too far up with my glitter with and now that looks a lot more cohesive it looks a lot less messy so now I'm just gonna go ahead do the other eye off camera contour and base and I'll be right back all right everybody now that I've gone ahead I laid down my contour I laid down my base as well did my lashes now I'm gonna go ahead with the morphe pop of fuchsia blush trio and I'm gonna go in with the shade edgy I'm gonna go ahead and put this right onto the cheeks. All right, now that we went ahead and popped that blush on, the next step is to put on some highlight. For highlighter, I'm gonna be dipping into the Morphe 8Z Star Blazer Highlighter Palette, and I'm gonna be using a Morphe M510, my favorite highlighter brush, and we're gonna dip into the shade Extra. And last but not least, we're gonna go into some lip action. So first we're gonna line the lips. We're gonna use the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the shade 160 Rich Wine. All right, and now that I've gone ahead and lined those lips, I left the core of my lips uh, bare. You probably have seen this a million times before. It's just an ombre lip. It makes your lips look more pouty, more and then for good measure, we just go back in and reinforce any of the lip liner that was lost a little bit. And we're just going to top off these lips because they're obviously very matte right now. We're going to toss a gloss on top. So I'm going to go in with the NYX Cosmetics Filler Instinct Plumping Lip Polish in the shade Brunch Drunk, which is this gorgeous clear but with these gold like rose gold flecks in them ah it is such a gorgeous lip gloss so for lip glosses i like the natural shade of and i don't want to adulterate the actual component i just take a couple dollops put it on my uh, the back of my hand and then with my finger oh and that just like made the lip go kapow so now without further delay, let's go ahead and set this bad boy in place. We're going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. All right, everybody. So this is it. This is the final look. So hopefully you all like, love it. And if you do, make sure you leave a thumbs up, a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified of all this future slayage. You, you got to subscribe. Other than that, just make sure that you use my Morphe discount code GLAMFAM366 for any of your Morphe purchases that are over $10. This will exclude third-party products and is one-time use only. And other than that, I am wishing you all tons of safety, tons of sanity, and a lot of prosperity. Until next week, see you later. Bye.